Hey YouTube, um, it's been a while since I last made a video, in fact none of you probably even care or realize that I had other videos. You probably just searched in YouTube how to make a dubstep baseline or dubstep wobble or something like that. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, there's multiple ways, but I'm going to show you the easiest one that I know how to do. Um, so first things first, you're going to want the bass sound that you want. So you have to pick a sound. And I'm going to use the VST Citrus because everyone else uses Citrus, so I decided I will hop on the bandwagon. My favorite preset is Satan FM. It's kind of a raunchy, scarier bass line. Okay, so go up here to your... Um, piano roll and just draw on some notes. I'm just going to keep it at one little section. Okay, so as you can hear, that is just one continuous sound. There is no LFO being applied. In case you didn't know, an LFO is what gives it the, the fade in at the wub wub wub. That's what causes it to do that, because when you, you take one continuous sound, apply the LFO, and that causes that one continuous sound to sound like multiple sounds but fading in and out. And to apply this LFO, you're gonna go, um, you're gonna assign that, um, you're gonna assign Citrus or whatever VST or sound it is you're using a free mixer track. No, I don't want this. I'm sorry, oh, that's why I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Assign a free mixer track, there we go. Okay, and you're gonna use the Fruity Fast LP. Fruity Fast LP will um, adjust your cutoff and resonance but the only thing you have to worry about is your cutoff because your sonic just kind of changes the noise per se. You could apply an L or you could edit the events of that if you wanted to, but that will not affect your wobble. Your cutoff will. You notice how your cutoff is all the way down. You hear nothing. Halfway up. It's kind of muffled. Getting louder and louder and louder and louder and louder. That's exactly what you want. So we're gonna adjust your Cut off. It does not matter where it is whenever you start the editing events. So you're going to right click on the cutoff knob and hit edit events. And you're going to alt O so you can begin to edit. Now notice how these wobble lines only go over to two. That's just because that's how many notes I drew in. I only drew it two for the first beat section. If you have more, it's going to go on longer. And that can be good per se because you can adjust the, the speed rating for two halves. It's it splits it into two sections, your start and your end, as you can read. You can make it all one if you want to, or if you would like to adjust how fast it goes, you add, you apply the end. So you can have it slower at the end and faster at the beginning, or slower at the beginning and faster at the end. I'm gonna keep it at two steps for both. Actually I'm just gonna deselect end so I can keep these perfectly even and it won't change the volume um, output. So I'm going to accept this because this is what's giving me my wobble right here. I wasn't very clear on that. This is your wobble. The faster the speed, the faster the fade in and out. The slower the speed, the slower the cutoff adjusts. So it will go quiet to loud or slower and then back down. But I'm going to set it at two steps and accept it. When you hit play, you get your wobble. You can go back if you would like to, and then I can make it faster. What does it sound like now? There you go. You know how to add a cutoff um, edit to your sounds. And some um, VSTs actually will have a box. I know that the uh, 3X OSC, the three oscillators, has the, um, it has a LFO type thing involved right here. It has an LFO section. And if it does, you don't even need to apply the free fast LP. You can select a shape, what wobbles are use like this, or they're, they're the rounder shape, you don't want them sharp, otherwise it doesn't sound as clean as you want it to, and you can also adjust the speed from there, so that works.
Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Bedroom producers.